gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel That channel is Deb Chanel's 40s World I wanna take the time out to especially thank you to my supporters that have been there with me day one thank you for my new subscribers that have come on board and thank you for the ones who are thinking about coming on board i don't know what you're waiting on come on now come on okay and also uh fix your notifications so you'll know when i drop a video and you'll be the first to catch it live and up in color okay and you can be the first to comment on what I'm talking about as well. Continue to like and share and subscribe to my channel. Okay, but let's get into this video that Celebrity Insider had brought out on none other than another Housewives of Atlanta star, uh, which is Cynthia Bailey. Cynthia Bailey is listening to or not listening to Mike Hill when he's saying he likes to see her old natural. So what are you saying, Mike? You don't like all her fake hair that she's uh, showing the world on an everyday occurrence. I think she's beautiful with hair, short hair, or without hair. Doesn't matter. She's a beautiful woman. Why are you trying to tell her what to do? Okay. Now, Cynthia, that's what you should have been saying. Deal with it. Deal with me and all my different faces, hair, and all of that. But since you don't want to speak on it, I will speak my mind on it. Okay. Do you go and tell Mike what suit to wear? How did, um, uh, well, he kind of bald headed, ain't he? Well, he got short hair. But do you tell him how to groom up his hair, how to shape his hair up to fix his face? Do you tell him uh, what clothes to wear uh, when you're going out uh, for the evening or when he's going to sh um, different events that he hosts uh, for doing the sports uh, entertainment or this new thing you all are trying to do together, the dating show? Do you give him advice? Do he follow them? I mean, what he wants to see you Back in the uh, motherland age, uh, he wants to see very short hair. He wants to see uh, very natural long hair. Uh, what What is he trying to give you, Cynthia? I don't know. Uh, because I think how you feel about yourself on a daily basis should be what you feel about yourself. If you feel like wearing a wig or an extensions or weave, then so be it. Let have it. If you want to grow your hair long and natural, go ahead, Okay. Or if you want to keep wearing these protective styles, or you want to go old, short, Afro-looking style, go do you. Be great. You've always done what you wanted, and you made no apologies for it. So with you trying to kowtow down and be submissive towards him on what he wants, just show him the old 50 cent. Go on and sit up there in the bed like an old G, okay, and see what he has to say. Why does he have to tell you how to look? Uh, on a daily basis. He's not happy with who you are, what you're presenting to him. I mean, uh, he met you, I, I'm pretty sure, with that long fake weave of that hair. He did not find any enjoyment or pleasure. What he wants you to be back uh, short or old natural with no chemicals in your hair? I don't know. But honey, I was spending time trying to tell him, stop critiquing me, either like me, love me for who I am on whatever day it be that I'm doing something or leave me the hell alone. But okay, Cynthia, you wanted this. You said you prayed for this. And sometimes you got to watch what you pray for, depending on what Lord or God you serve, okay? But they'll serve it up to you. And then you'll be like, well, I didn't want all of this. Just like you said, you prayed for the Lord to bring you somebody as wonderful as Mike, but you forgot to um, ask the Lord for the location. Make sure the location is here in Atlanta, okay? But, okay, we see how that went, how that is faring for you. I'm just saying again, speaking my mind, pump your brakes, Cynthia. Pump your brakes. Because this man is telling me a lot about himself with each and every upcoming episode that he's aired and filmed in, okay? Because he already looked like from sitting on that bed, bed from last preview of what they were giving us, I guess, from what's coming up next week or this Sunday, or maybe, no, it wasn't. It was during the episode that just aired where you were serving him in bed. And he was just, like, he was just too comfortable sitting up in your bed. Like, he was just the king on the throne. And you ain't even made him your king yet. Okay? He ain't even, he, I don't know what he is. He can't be your prince. Uh, but I guess he could be your prince in another way of thinking. But, I mean, you're not even married to that man. You're sitting up there playing house. I mean, pretty much. What are you setting the tone for your daughter to do? All right. 
No morals, no compass, no nothing to follow. Where is her grandmama? Where is your grandma? Where is her grandma? Where is your mama at Cynthia? Okay, but moving on from that situation, let's get on and get into what Celebrity Insider is putting out on this particular um segment of featuring Cynthia Bailey and Mike uh Hill telling her he wants to see her old natural. The article is written by a correspondent or journalist over there at Celebrity Insider by the name of Nick Marcus. So throw your hands up in the air and wave them like you just don't care. All right, and give him applause for his article that I am featuring on my YouTube station channel. Okay, the title he gives us is Cynthia Bailey says bye to her wig in new video. Check out her hair, uh, natural hair, is saying. So Cynthia Bailey took to social media to show off her natural Curly hair letting the wig rest for a bit. The Real Housewives of Atlanta member of the cast posted a video in which she literally took off her wig and showed her many followers her actual hair under it. Well, technically, Cynthia, the little part you showed us was just from face forward. We didn't really see the uh, behind, uh, the, you know, scene or how the length was, but I'm pretty sure... I hopefully it's the picture that I included in my video. The length of your hair is beautiful. It's, it's gorgeous. I don't see why you don't let us see more of it. I'm sure it's kind of thin and not as full as wearing a weave or a wig. But, I mean, give us your real side if that's what you want to do. If you want to continue to keep your hair uh, protected with the wigs and the extensions and this, that, and third, you go do you before uh, you, you let somebody else tell you what to do. Go forth and be great in your own, but let it be your own decision and not that your so-called man, fiancé, soon-to-be husband is telling you what he wants to see on you. I mean, who the hell do you think he is, honey girl? You better pump your brakes, pump your brakes. Hell, stop the car and get out. Leave the keys in the car because he probably bought it for you with your money. But anyway, moving on back to the article. It said... um. The clip is rather short, but it definitely has quite the impact given the fact that she looks at the camera with a pretty mischievous a pretty mischievous grin on her face and tosses the long wig aside. In the caption, the reality TV celeb wrote, by wig, literally, meaning she literally just took the wig off and set it to the side. But she knows she's going to put that wig back on after they finish filming her. So I don't know what the deal is with why Cynthia don't wear her natural her natural hair. Uh, sometime you know, but most of them, all of them, really don't. When they're filming, they want the best full made up hair that could possibly be seen. And you know, it just is what it is. I don't think too many people, when they're in the spotlight, that they, they want to show their real hair because it does take a lot of work. It, it takes a lot of maintenance, and who has the time for that? So I can just imagine. This was probably the reason why we don't see a lot of celebrities or reality stars with their old natural going on, okay? Because they're going to get it one way or the or other in the media, positive for people that rock with well, um, natural hairstyles versus the ones who want to be deemed what society has portrayed every woman to look like, don't matter what the culture or, or race you're in. They want you to have that European look, this, there, and the uh, third, okay, the society, especially in the corporate business world. Uh, but going back to the article, it says, of course, underneath the wig, Cynthia's natural hair looks stunning, but unfortunately, the clip only provided a quick sneak peek, sneak, excuse me, sneak peek at it since it ended before fans could get a good look at it. And you, you damn right, it was a short, real feel, quick, fast, and a hurry, uh, we call it a uh, position of what they showed us of Cynthia's hair. They really didn't go from the side or the back. They just showed the front. She threw it off and that was it. Okay. Uh, one of the co-stars on Real Housewives of Atlanta, Eva Marcel, reacted to the post by leaving an emoji laughing with his tongue out. Uh, were you laughing, either because you thought she was funny looking or you were laughing because she threw the weed so quick? I don't know. Are you trying to uh, throw shade at Cynthia? Uh, just for the little quick, fast, and her. Are you trying to do that, Eva, girl? All right, moving on. It says, uh, in the meantime, she's also been gushing over her fiancé, Mark Hill, who seems to be the one making her snatch her own wig in the clip. Okay, that's what I'm saying. See, I thought, this man that's just writing up commentary on you, and I'm sharing it on my channel, if he feels the same way that Mike is in control of you totally, Cynthia, that's a shame. Take your power back. Be your own woman. Make your own decisions. Okay? 
show us what you got. Show us what you're working with, Cynthia, because I don't know. You just, ooh, when it comes to that man, you're just too dumbfounded, period, point, and blank. Okay. <sighs> Going back to the article, it said, while chatting with Hollywood Life not too long ago, she made it very clear that she was very in love and that they were uh, intimate a lot. Okay, you didn't even have to give us that. I don't even want that image in my head, all right? We don't want to know how much love making you're making up in the sack at Lake Bailey or whenever you're at his digs, okay? We, we don't know about it. We, we didn't want to know about it with Peter. And y'all showed us a little bit of what could transpire between you and Peter just flat put you out on front street saying you don't know what you're doing in the bed. <laughs> Good damn Peter Thompson, I tell you, I miss him. I miss him. I don't care what y'all say. Yep, he was an opportunist, but at least he damn told you in a sense of what he was doing with the money. Okay? We don't know what Mike is doing. All right? We just don't know. But anyway, um, it said, um, hmm, this glow is not from the highlighter, honey, she uh, added, suggesting she was glowing because of all the love. Um, the star excitedly added that she was looking forward to the wedding. We are in the beginning stages of planning the dates 2020, which is basically 10, 10, 20, which I am obsessed with my date. Apparently, a lot of people are as well. It is pretty popular. It's a pretty popular date. So I have to find a location. I cannot tell you where it is going to be yet. Cannot tell you a whole lot, but I'm actually starting to plan everything. It says, finally, she shared the good news for fans. The ceremony will be televised. Okay. It's not like the re revolution that won't be televised, but your wedding to my kill will be televised. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, anywho, that's all I have for this particular video with my kill telling Cynthia how to walk, how to talk, how to dress, uh, how to finesse, and all of that. Okay. A, rock, a walking robot. It's almost like the Steffer wise. She's becoming to transform into. But y'all get out in them comments. I spoke my mind. I spoke my piece. So I'm willing to listen to you all tell me what y'all think about the subject matter and what's portraying in the video that I put out for you all to enjoy. Okay? Simply entertainment. Don't take it so serious. Just speak your mind about the situation that do you think Mike Hill is taking over, taking over, taking over Cynthia's entire life? Okay? Because y'all already don't start taking over. Uh, baby girl over there, he got her living with him. All right, don't understand that at all. We'll never understand it because Leon kind of was passive about it as well. Passive aggressive. Woo! Let's pray for uh, Noel that she's safely uh, uh, being taken care of in her environment and watch over her. Peace and blessings to her and her family. And I'll see you next video. Bye bye. I know I ain't perfect, but